place. And um, this is it's like a meditation for me. A place for me to tap into that spontaneous intelligence of the universal creative force and try to, uh, over time, develop a, a, a technique and a touch with that. Uh, all my paintings are approached like this, obviously. But in order to invite people into the spiritual process and energetic process of the work, I like to take it out of the format of the studio and let people feel like they're uh, connected in a more deeper way to the meaning of the work. So again, I want to thank John. I want to thank Sayla I want to thank Mike Medic. Uh, his music selection is wonderful for that. Um, curiosity of the spectators, you know, just like, what is going on? Like, what is he really doing? Um, I feel the, 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 the curiosity, the intrigue, um, you know, people wanting to look over me and see the painting, the, the, the liberty of the moment, meaning like just being in the moment and being connected to it, being spontaneous, being live, like all of this plays a role. Um, being here, like I was mentioning geographically earlier about this place historically uh, and what the significance of that. Um, and uh, feeling like in some way I want to connect to that. Uh, a lot of times we the people had to create off of the cuff. We had to rely on our intuitive ability to uh, reimagine situations and not externally, internally. Um, and that's a tradition that I think is something that uh, should not be forgotten. And I try to express it and pay homage to the African-American artists, uh, artists in general, but primarily African-American artists that came before me that have kept abstraction and the spirit of abstraction, the spirit of color and force and immediate expression alive uh, through the visual media. So that's something that uh, I'll pay homage to. But primarily with this environment, this energy, this amount of people uh, who probably have not seen anything like this before, that stuff really gives me a lot of life and a lot of uh, energy when I paint. And then how do you know when you're done, when you're finished? Yeah, what makes you stop? Well, it's just the, the colors and the composition says, you know, I think I'm good. You know, um, I made later. See more um, that does happen. You know, I take it back to the studio and it speaks more. But when I'm painting in this particular type of style, I, I try to allow the colors to stand on their own and, and breathe. I don't want to put too much on the canvas. So. Yes, ma'am. Do you sign? Do I sign? I primarily sign it on the back. I haven't requested to sign it on the front, and I do when I'm asked. Sign on the front. I just, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, rule number one. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. I feel like something. When you hit that fast, so it's going really nice when you hit it with one last time. That's hot. Is that just me? Is that just you? Yeah. You mean in the sense like. So I feel what I was like, and I transmit what I maybe. I mean, you know, it, I, think I think I think you felt what I felt, and I've had that happen with spectators. Like they get caught up in the color application, and, you know, just like you look something turn. Yeah, just they turn the energy of the painting, and each color. I don't mix a lot of colors because I want them to stand on their own, you know. Um, and when I added the green, is they're all there to activate one another, just like life, our diversity is what activates us, right? You know, the different people we come across, the different uh, cultures we come across. And I just try to, you know, encourage those philosophies and outlooks through my work in some way. And I, I do it through the abstract way because, uh, you know, I'm a very introspective person, uh, very contemplative, and uh, I like to focus on the things that I feel like bring us together as human beings and as uh, you know, uh, creations of the universe. I like to, to focus on that. So I feel like abstract is the subconscious that deals with the emotional. And um, that gives everybody an opportunity to never have a bias going into the work. You have to deal with your own experience. And that can only really be an internal experience because you haven't seen anything like this before or like other abstract work you've seen made by other artists. So, yes, brother. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it is just to kind of cover the sides as well. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less. It just depends on the space I'm working with. It's a lot to try to control the paint the way I'm using it. And, you know, I don't want the whole place to look like this. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, it, 
it's, it, it's, it's a lot of control involved and a lot of touch involved. Um, but yeah, from time to time when I'm doing the sides, I just want to put something on there just so it's not totally bare. Because it looks like a you know, flat painting on a, a gallery style canvas like that. But I'm sorry, somebody else had a question? Yes, brother. Uh, I mean, each color has its own purpose, right? Each color affects the environment of the painting, or the, 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 the surface of the painting. So, um, but to say uh, there's a like direct intent behind it, you're probably picking up on the feel. You know, you're probably genuinely, like if you're listening to music, you can't explain why a certain note or a certain beat or a certain rhythm may make you feel a way. But it's like, it does something. It, it changes the way you feel. So, I, you know, I take that approach when I'm doing this type of work. Uh, you know, to add that white there, I want to encourage the other colors to, to to interact with it and get to stand alone. You know, so 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 I can't say it's it's a conscious attempt to uh, to to use the white in a certain way. It's just what's needed to be done in the moment. 